Hello everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jamie Evans. I'm a sports journalist who's looking to make a name for himself in the industry. The first step that I'm taking in doing so is I'll be relaunching my own website, Off Target. The link will be added below and as soon as I'm up and running, I'll be sharing things left, right and centre on all social media platforms, hopefully bringing you visual and written content that you enjoy. Over the next few weeks, I'll be pushing content out regularly. So keep your eyes peeled for anything that I post. Uh, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz that you've got to do these days. Um, and I'm always happy to interact with people, even if our opinions differ, which they will. I start today with the biggest interview I've done to date, where Championship side Blackburn Rovers winner Ryan Hedges joined me through the Zoom. Big shout out to Ollie Foster for sorting this out for me. Let me know what you all think. Enjoy. Ryan, thanks for coming on. Uh, thanks for joining me today and giving me your time. Uh, how's everything going? Yeah, yeah, all good. Um, recovering from injury at the moment, but hopefully nearly back in the in the near future. Yeah, like I said, I've um, just been looking as well, and it's been quite a while since you've been out. Twenty third of September, you've come on eight minutes into the second half against Ipswich, and you've had to come off with a severe hamstring injury. Um, can you tell us the severity of that injury and what, what you've had done to repair it? Yeah, um, so like you said, yeah, I came on at half-time um, and then a few minutes into the second half, kind of received the ball um, and as I kind of turned with the ball, just felt like my being shot in the back of the leg. Um, mm. Kind of, yeah, kind of fell to the ground really. Um, kind of knew it was a bad one. Um, had to come off straight away. Couldn't really put any weight through my leg. Um, went for a scan a few days later, and um, the the tendon in your hamstring had basically snapped, and so it ruptured. Um, so I think a week later, I had to go down to London for um, surgery to to kind of put my put my tendon back together. And yeah, it's been a long road, long road since. I think yeah, like you said, it's probably been um, fourteen, fifteen weeks out, and hopefully. Probably only another week to go. Yeah, it sounds like uh, you know to have to have to have your hamstring surgically um, fixed is uh, obviously shows the severity of how bad it was. Um, with um, <coughs> um, what's it been? What's it been like being out for so long? And do you, like usually, you know, a hamstring injury would be like oh maybe six weeks and you're kind of back in, but like you just mentioned there, 15 weeks. That's that's a long time. Like what's what's it been like? Yeah, it's been really tough. It's probably been my my longest injury um of my career. Um yeah, the first probably four weeks I was in a brace um on crutches and things. So I couldn't um couldn't use my hamstring. So I lost a lot of my hamstring, lost a lot of my quad um in my right leg. So Probably the first four weeks was was the toughest because there was not much I could really do. Um, struggling to drive, but I couldn't get couldn't drive, so I had to share lifts to training and things like that. Um, and then once I was able to get out the brace, then kind of the recovery then started for me. Um, lots of work in the gym, lots of rehab, lots of trying to strengthen um, not just my hamstring but my quad as well, my calf, just because of how much you lose so quickly when you when you're not able to use your, use your leg really. Well, yeah, I can imagine that, like you said, like your muscle wasted and stuff like that. I'm trying to get yourself back into that level. So how long were you, so what at what stage of your recovery are you at now in regards to when you go into the training ground, like what sort of stuff are you doing? Are you back on the grass yet? Are you, or are you just still with a physio in the gym and doing that little thing? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm back on the grass, kind of working my way up to the top end, top speed stuff. And that's kind of the, your last uh, marker that you have to tick off before you're allowed back to full training. Um done some modified sessions so I have been with the team and with the squad which has been good um, for me as well as as the team obviously the results aren't going well so it's kind of good to see a few players coming back in but more importantly for me it being able to to be around the boys and not just having one-to-one -one sessions with the physios to kind of kick a ball around with the lads is, is what you want. Yeah I can imagine it gets like a little bit of a lonely place when you're you know, if you're having to train away from everybody else or, you know, obviously there's a small group of you maybe that's injured, but it's, it's not the same as it than, than being with the lads out on the grass and being involved in the first team. Yeah, definitely. I think that's, obviously, you always just want to play football at the end of the day. And when you're not able to, that's kind of all you all you want to do. And you kind of look on thinking, oh, 
wish I was fit. But um, yeah, it's just kind of part and parcel of football. So um, I've definitely paid my time. So hopefully it can be can be back fit soon enough. Yeah, definitely. Um, so obviously since signing for Blackburn, you made yourself an integral part of the first team. Um, you were in a pretty good vein of form before your injury. Um, goal and assist in your eight games, but creating multiple chances for your teammates. Obviously, I, you know, I understand the answer is going to be incredibly frustrating, but like, how frustrating is that as a player to suffer an injury so big, so serious when you're in that good form? And what's like mentally, how do you kind of cope with that or how have you coped with that? Yes, I think it's been frustrating. Obviously, no one wants to be injured, but um, yeah, I think we were playing well as a team, had some good results. I think we were probably top eight again, pushing towards playoffs and then um, when I first come out of the team, they, they were doing really well. Keep they were still flying in and around the playoffs, and then probably since December, there's been a bit of a drop off. So I think that's the most most frustrating thing is that when the team aren't doing well and you you can't help. Um, that's the, yeah, like you said, the most frustrating thing is that if they're struggling and you you're helpless as well. Of course, of course. You 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 say that since like around Christmas time, there's been a bit of drop off in form with, um, with Blackburn. What, what do you think has, has kind of led to that? Has there been more injuries or is it maybe a little bit of something else? That you... Yeah, I think we've probably had, um, I think we've got a small squad to kind of start with um, and then we've had key injuries to, to big players. I think we've had, say, five out of our starting 11 have, have missed more than two, three months. Um, we've had big injuries and again, on Saturday, we picked up another two. So um, that's obviously frustrating and a lot of players that probably wouldn't have thought they'd play 20, 30, 40 games this season uh, are having to um, just because of the size of the squad. So, um, yeah, it's obviously great for them that they are playing, but I think we could do with a bit bit more rotation and, and lads having to play every three days and not having too much rest and not being able to rotate as much because of the, the strength, well, the size of the squad through, through injuries and things like that. Yeah, it's probably taking its toll. Yeah, and again, obviously with, you know, we know, across all the levels of football it's like game after game after game after game what what is that like to deal with as a player I understand you know you're in probably like a privileged position I'd love to be in, in your shoes and just be playing and training and football's my life but how what is the actual kind of impact on it that you know, like physically on the mental side as well I understand physically you can be tired or constantly having to recover properly and stuff and then you have injuries like happening left right and center is there any way that you think it could be combated by other than less games or is that um, the answer is? Well, yeah, obviously I wouldn't really know, but I think um, sometimes it's really good when you're playing every three, four days. If you're on a good run, the games just keep flowing and that's sometimes the best thing. But when you're not on a good run, it's you probably need time at the training ground to work on certain things. And if you've got a game Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, there's not really too much time to work on stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably injuries do play a big part as well. But I think that's probably the the um, benefit of having having a bigger squad that you are able to to rotate and use the players that you've got at your disposal. Uh, other than yourself, you know, you're you're almost back on the back to getting where you need to be. Um, any other lads close to coming back, or are they pretty much long term? Yeah, no. Um, so I think when I got injured. Um, there was probably four or five of us with over two, three months injuries. And um I think past this weekend we should all be back fit, which is which is a huge boost to the team. Um obviously Sam Gallagher's been out for three, four months. Um myself for three for four months. Angie Pears was out for three months. Um we had Don Hyman, um vice captain missed two, three months with his ankle. Tyrese Dolan um is is back after a knee injury for two months, uh, ranking Costello, another three month injury with his hamstring. So uh, all these players are are now on their way back or are back and hopefully can give a lift to the team. Yeah. That's again, that's like all key players as well. Like really big parts of big parts of the team. Those, those players uh, recognize Tyrese Dolan from my football manager days. Um, And, uh, but yeah, no, like it's, I'm a Man United fan uh, myself. And obviously that we've, I've seen this year, like just injury after injury after injury. You can see what it does to a team and, and the kind of morale around the squad. Um, 
what's it like currently, like with the fans wise? Are they still back in the team or is there a bit of unrest there? Yeah, I think um obviously Blackburn's a massive club, so I think there is the added pressure of that. I think the, the fans are expecting us to be at the top end of the table and, and so are the players to be fair. Um but yeah, when things aren't aren't going your way, obviously they're restless and you can understand why. But um yeah, on the whole they've they've stuck with us and hopefully that can continue and hopefully we can turn the um turn the results around. Well it sounds promising anyway that obviously like you say the key players there are coming back in yourself are getting back to full fitness. Um and you know you get with the championship it's always you kind of only like you know, a three game run away from the playoffs regardless where you are in the league. I think it's one of the most fascinating leagues in the world, really, and most entertaining to watch as well, because kind of everyone can beat everyone. And it's like it's so competitive. I do I do enjoy watching the championship football. Um uh, with you being out for so long, what have you been doing to keep yourself occupied other than trying to obviously doing whatever you need to do with your physio and stuff? Is there anything else you've taken up? Um, no, not not too really. I think over over the uh like winter period when the weather's not been too good, me and my girlfriend have ended up doing a few jigsaws, um, just to kind of keep the mind occupied. So that's nothing to kind of shout about. Um, I think in the summer I got quite into my golf as well. So when I had my hamstring injury, golf had to stop as well. So I'm kind of now once I've been back on the grass jogging, I was able to kind of go to the driving range a little bit more. So um, every now and again, just that. But yeah, there's not really been too much that I've been able to kind of do. Um, it's more just been focused on um, getting myself right. Um, a little bit, obviously, bits in the gym, like swimming, bike and things like that, just to kind of obviously get myself prepared and get my muscles right for, for getting back to train. Yeah, definitely. Hey, don't laugh about the jigsaws. My missus is trying to get me on them as well, but I kind of managed to hold it off a bit, but she's got two in the bedroom waiting to go, so I think <laughs> I'll have to join you. Um, you said you're a keen, keen golfer or have you just started? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was very fair-weather player. Um, but yeah, I've, I've tried to throw myself into it a bit more this this last probably 12 months. So yeah, um, a few lessons and trying to get myself a handicap and keep working my way down but yeah not a bandit just yet no it's a it's a tough tough game uh, like I say I'm, I'm, I'm a fair weather player myself I only kind of play usually between like probably end of March to about September so as good yeah. as it gets I don't like the rain or, or the wind and freezing cold or stuff like that so but yeah no, I do like me golf um, you haven't been uh, not you've have you stopped playing the piano or because I've oh, heard no. you've been on Welsh TV playing yeah. the piano and no, was, uh, no musical bone in my body, so nothing like that. No, no you know, <laughs> kind of learn anything. Um, no, no, no new traits. Maybe that a, a dartboard got put up after the uh, the world championship, so maybe the new loot level. Again. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone jumping on the darts bandwagon after watching him. Incredible again. Isn't yeah. it? I'm going to the Premier League in um, in April. So oh, is it? That really just, they just announced the fixtures, and it's Littler against MVG. So I'm looking forward to that. Not a bad one. Um, so I'll finish off, mate, with for for your kind of your short term goals. Obviously, get back to fitness and get a running the team. But is there any long term goals that you're looking to looking to hit, or you're just taking it day by day? Yeah, I think obviously this season is just to try and play as but well, to stay fit would probably be the main goal. Um, to make sure that my injury is fully healed and that I'm able to kind of play in as many games as I can till the end of the season. Um, yeah, and then it's just just about helping the team try and climb the table and hopefully we can have a, a playoff push. Like you said, anybody can beat anybody in this league and you get three, four, five wins together and you, you're looking right at the top end of the table. So hopefully that's something that we, we can achieve and that's something that I'd, I'd want to do as well. well. Definitely. Well, I wish you all the best, mate. And um, hopefully you get back fit and firing and uh, get get Blackburn back, back where they belong, back in that Premier League. Yeah, so, cheers, um, mate. Thanks again for your time. Much appreciated. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Wes.